The Ray Darcy Show on RTE Radio 1. Now, Sinead Neulicon is in Dublin and she's on Cunningham Road. Hello, Sinead. Hello, Ray. I'm sitting here in the driver's seat. Oh. I've just closed the door to the <laughs> cab. I can see my mirrors. One, two, three. I can see in front of me. I've got screens. I've got buttons. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I have somebody by my side who knows exactly what's going on here in the bus. Zoe Bailey is her name. And she has been working for Dublin Bus for three years now. How are you, Zoe? Hi, how's it going? Not too bad. Uh, thanks for uh, inviting us into your bus today. <laughs> well, well, I know, so, happy to have you. Yeah, the, what, what sort of bus is it? Do you know? It's a PA. It's one of the newer ones. Oh, right, is that electric? Yeah, it's electric, so it is. Hello? Hello? Yeah, go on. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's electric one, so it is. It's one of the latest ones. Uh, is it automatic? It is. Right. Every, all, the, all the buses are automatic. Is it easy to drive? Ah, oh, very easy, very smooth. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. I suppose back in the day when you didn't have assisted steering and all that, it would have been a right pain, wouldn't it? Uh, I've heard, I've got stories of plenty of drivers who's here over 30 years and some of them have been absolute disastrous. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, why why bus driving, Zoe, for you? Um, I, just, I love driving. Like when I started <laughs> driving, like when I got my licence from my car, I was constantly in it. Yeah. And then said I wanted a challenge and... Dublin bus came up and I'm delighted ever since. We were just saying earlier on, there's only 174 women drivers in Dublin bus out of nearly 3,000 drivers. Yeah, um, it's mad. Like, it's mad the difference. And do people remark when they get on the bus that you're a woman? All the time. Do all they? The time. Right, Maybe, right, right. Yeah, all the time. Maybe even once a day. It's like, do oh, they? look, it's great. It's great to see women drivers, everyone does always say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, well, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, and now they want, oh, to, yeah. they want to recruit more uh, to increase the number from 174. So they're having an open day uh, in October, November, and we'll, we'll tell people about that when it happens. And people will get a yeah. chance to uh, drive a bus. Can you remember the first time you drove a bus, Zoe? I actually can, because I went to one of those opening days myself back yeah. in 2019 and went in, met all of a few drivers... And then they told us, because I didn't know at the time that we can get into a bus and go around the yard. And I knew straight away then, as soon as I sat in it, it was like, that's it, this is for me. Yeah. Because uh, they're, they're, they're big, aren't they? They're long, they're wide, you know. It's yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone does say that to you. How are you driving this? I said, I drive this better than my car. Yeah, right. And of course, on top of that then, how many people fit in a double-decker bus? Uh, you get in around 80 on a double-decker, yeah, yeah. 66 seat and then around 50 in standing. Uh, and does that ever play on your mind that you're responsible for all of those people? Not really, no. because like you have to be confident. You have to be confident in yourself, you know? Yeah. So like you know you can drive smoothly and safely and everyone on the bus is comfortable with you on it. Yeah. Like, there's no panicking. We've all been there where we see the bus and it's about to pull away and we're running and we're waving and we're shouting and, uh, you know, sometimes it depends on the bus driver and what sort of day they're having, they might stop and other, other times they won't. But uh, you were in that situation and a man and wife were, were laden down with shopping. <laughs> yeah, they were. I was uh, actually on my way into Ballyfermot. I was coming in from Inchicor and I was at the stop, had to let people on and I was pulling away and I seen these two in my mirror and I stopped and pulled in for them. And he ran up, he was very like, oh, thanks very much, or, thanks very much and stuff like that. And then he sat down and he came back up to me a couple of minutes later with a packet of ham <laughs> to say thank you very much. He was like, it's all I have and I, I couldn't take it, I couldn't take it off him. But I was like very appreciative for it, you know. Yeah, Spe- speaking of payment and, and we can't pay with ham, but we have to have exact change. Uh, I, I suppose you and every other driver will be happy when, when cards are introduced. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. It's coming, down, it's coming down the tracks. Yeah, it will be a huge improvement. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because you would, you'd have a lot of um, tourists coming over and they'd be here with their cards and you're like, I'm very sorry. So yeah. you'd be pointing your finger to the, there's like leap card pictures on the bus and saying that where do you have to get them, which would be in on O'Connell Street. So they have to get off the or bus. Or another shop. Which is well, no, nine times out of ten, they always have change. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and there was a regular who used to get the bus and he, he always had sweets for you. Always. I actually only had them yesterday, I did. I, coming from the mill in Clondalkin Village, it was. Yeah. And he gets on and he's happy as Larry, going about his day. And he's like, what do you want today? 
And he was like, I have chocolates and I have minty ones. And he'd always <laughs> give you something, always. Uh, you, you sound like you're doing your dream job, uh, Zoe Bailey, uh, driving for Dublin bus. Um, and uh, they're having open days. Sinead, they're having open days in October, November. Yes, I think I might call over to um, Broadstone Depot on one of those days yes. because I would love the opportunity to drive a bus. I don't know if I'd be any good at it, but I might as well give it a lash. Yeah, so we'd, and we'll bring your microphone. We'll talk to you that day as well. Zoe Bailey, yeah. thanks so much. No See, problem. Thanks again. And just one more thing, Zoe. Do people still say thanks when they get off a bus? They always say 